Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Running the Gauntlet here in Marvel's Ultimate Alliance 3. We are deep in the third and final phase of the gauntlets located within the Rise of the Phoenix saga, and we will be looking today at the level 140 Burning Vengeance gauntlet run. This one definitely can be a little bit tricky, and that is why we are here to showcase what to expect in the five different segments of this gauntlet run, as well as what it takes to obtain the four different clear condition rewards. So let's jump into it. The first section here has us eventually confronting Miss Marvel, uh, and it is pretty straightforward. It takes you from the control room of Avengers Tower up to the first training room where there's the terminal that we need to take down. You can take some time and defeat all of these enemies. You've got more than enough time to. I am blitzing through it because I want to get through this as quickly as possible and because of some of the other clear conditions that are required, you are going to need to run this mul gauntlet multiple times so I'm not too concerned about not being able to hit these people. So. Here we are in this combat segment here. I do set up the uh, EP Siphon Ring from Thanos Infinite there just to make sure that these opponents are not in my way. We take out the terminal and can progress right along into the final combat section, which is the living room area where we would normally find Wasp. And the only real difference to this section is that in addition to the Ultron Sentry bots coming in, we also have the Phoenix Force imbued Kamala Khan, Miss Marvel sitting here that we need to take on as well. And you do need to be cautious because every member of your team will deal increased damage, but that also means that every member of the opposing team will deal that increased damage as well. So be very cautious, especially with Kamala Khan and Miss Marvel here. She has long extending arms that strike out in very large areas, so she can be very tricky if you are not careful. But if you can pin her down, stagger her out, and then lay a couple of ability and synergy attacks into her, you can take her down pretty easy. That brings us into the second segment, which is actually in the exact same room, and instead of a fight against Miss Marvel, it is going to be a fight against Captain Marvel, at least initially. So we have the confrontation here with Captain Marvel hanging out in the living room. She has that Phoenix Force imbuement, and it's just her in this section of the fight. The quirk to this combat section is that we have increased ability and synergy damage, but every other damage source is going to be decreased as we go about it. That's where I kind of enjoyed having Doctor Doom around, especially because I have a very heavy synergy attack ISO enhancements build on him, and so we were able to lay into uh, Miss Marvel, or Captain Marvel here, with a lot of damage with his uh, Doombot and Energy Blast that we're laying in there. You just see that she melts away in terms of the health and the stagger bar as we land her with that type of attack. And with a couple of final hits here, we do have her taken down. And that actually spawns in the second wave of this leg of the gauntlet, which is a confrontation against another version of Captain Marvel, so the exact same power set and everything, but this time she's actually in her Miss Marvel alternate costume. So that's really cool that that is something that's made available here. I do make the mistake of using a couple of extreme attacks here. It's really not beneficial to use your extreme attacks in this section because yes, I do have the Vitality Mastery Tree built out to the point where I will regain damage dealt, but the extreme attack damage is so heavily nerfed in this section due to the boost to the ability and synergy attacks that it's really not even worth trying to use those at all. But we can finish out uh, Captain Marvel here pretty easy once we get her taken down. You see I'm resorting again to the ability attack here with Doctor Doom and his Doombot synergy. So that really helps us take things on a lot quicker. At this stage, I do want to get a little more up close and personal, so I switch over to Wolverine. We throw a couple of adamantium uppercuts in there, and you see that this is taking 10 to 15% of her health each time we lay into her with that ability attack there. 
And with a couple final synergies rinsed and repeated there, we have her taken out and we can progress into the third phase of this gauntlet run. The third phase is actually going to pick up just after this area, right in front of the training facility that we need to clear out. And you do need to trigger this cutscene before you can continue to progress through. I've done this so many times now that I have the maze memorized, which really helps quite a bit. If you're not familiar with it, you might want to take a second and do so. I do employ a similar tactic to what we saw before with Thanos Infinite here uh, in terms of setting up his EP and health reservoir that draws all of the enemies into it. That leaves me a very clear and open path to this first terminal and taking that down. We can then backtrack through this maze and go up through to the last terminal in this area. Uh, it took a bit of a left, the wrong left turn there, but all of the opponents that would otherwise take us out are pretty much down. There is this Ultron bot that has uh, some more heavy attacks that will stagger out uh, any of your team members. But as my teammates continue to focus on him, I finish out deactivating the terminal with Thanos Infinite, and then we move right along to the uh, last terminal that needs to be taken down, which is out here in the warehouse storage area. I employ an identical tactic here, where I go ahead and put that siphon area back here away from the terminal, and then we continue to lay into the terminal here as we take the terminal down which then unlocks the final boss fight area and this actually triggers a little bit earlier than it would normally as we just as we get up to this ramp it will trigger you over to the helipad uh, where you have that final confrontation and this time it's going to be against two versions of iron man but as you see here we just go ahead and detonate all of our extreme attacks as we have them up and there's no nerf to them in this edition of the gauntlet run, and that's actually enough to take both of them out in one fell swoop, which makes things really nice and easy. I couldn't duplicate that with frequency, but it is something that can be done if you pull it off correctly. The fourth section of this fight is going to be a confrontation against three versions of Hulk. There's just the standard Hulk, there's the Gladiator Hulk, and then for some reason there is Red Hulk, but in Gladiator Hulk's outfit. I don't know if that's ever happened. Uh, it's kind of a cool thing to see that we have available though. And the thing you need to remember about this fight in particular is you have increased damage on all of your extreme attacks, which is good because they recharge faster and you can take out large amounts of health from these three hulks that you're looking to take down. I don't particularly like this segment mainly because a hulk has this dash attack and if you get two or three of them doing all the same thing they cover a very large amount of ground which just makes things annoying for everyone involved when it comes to taking on these bosses and taking them out. But this is at this stage very much a thing that we are just rinsing and repeating quite a bit so I will go ahead and touch on the different things that we will need to do to get the full clear rewards while we run out the remainder of this section of the gauntlet. Of course, the first one is making sure that you clear through the five different segments of this gauntlet and sequentially you need to get through them all once. That will get you the first clear condition. The second one is gaining a score of 150,000. Typically, you just go ahead and run that until you meet that score criteria, but because of the way that this one's built out, or maybe just the team built that I was using, I was able to attain that score within a single run of this gauntlet. So that was pretty easy and straightforward. The third clear condition is another one that you may be able to get in one, maybe two runs of the gauntlet, and in fact, certainly in two runs, even if you're just doing the... Uh, quick and dirty way that you've seen me demonstrating here in this section of the gauntlets thus far which is defeating 200 enemies and that is a to total of 200 enemies in any variety though honestly it's really kind of simple uh, to take out every enemy that you see within the first segment and knock out most if not all of them but the reason i'm not particularly focusing on the amount of enemies that i'm taking down and skipping over a lot of the 
uh, optional combat segments in this gauntlet is because you do need to run this gauntlet a total of three times to get the to the last clear condition because it is defeating 27 bosses. You get about nine bosses in every single run, which is the first fight against Miss Marvel. You have then two in the next section with uh, the two versions of Miss Marvel or Captain Marvel there. You get two with Iron Man, three with the Hulk in that last section, and then this final section here is a confrontation against Captain America, and that makes for a total of nine in a single run, so running that three different times gets you the 27 bosses that you need to defeat. Now, Captain America, he is a bit difficult to take on here, as he does have that uh, Phoenix Force power imbuement which really soups up a lot of his attacks. And additionally, he does like to use that Avengers Assemble ability to further amp up the damage of just the standard grunts and bots that you see uh, are spawning in during the course of this fight. This one, again, is up on the helipad area, so it does take a little bit of a confined space and make things a little more difficult than they otherwise would be. I was just poorly spaced out there with the ability tack from Dr. Doom uh, with his Doombot to make that uh, the most efficient as it could be. But we do try to bait him over and it's just not happening, which is a little bit unfortunate. So we go ahead and summon in another Doombot here to set up our ability attacks again. And now that we've got a good spread, you can really see the health just melting off of Captain America as he staggered out there. And even as he recovers, we do end up taking down a lot of his, or we could have taken down a lot of his abilities as well, but we do go ahead and detonate our extreme attacks with each of the, our team members here to take him down to about that last 15, 20% and continue through this little section here. And after a couple more ability attacks here, we will be able to take out Captain America and put him down for the count. In fact, one final set of heavy attacks here is all it's gonna take. And that is all you need to be aware of for the five different sections of this level 140 Burning Vengeance Gauntlet run. So if you enjoyed today's video, please feel free to leave a like. If you found it informative, let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe for more daily content as I am bringing videos to you on a daily basis. And starting next week, we will even be looking at uh, some content from the newly releasing of Marvel's Avengers for PS4 that is dropping this Friday. So thanks again for your time, and I hope that you have a great rest of your day.